compartimos este material gráfico que puede descargarlo o leerlo impreso. Es importante que usted y su familia lo lea, lo conozca, se lo aprenda, se empodere, lo haga propio para que nadie nos desvíe del camino. Sepa usted que este es el futuro que nos espera. Defiéndalo, porque este plan de ciudad y cada una de sus acciones que hoy emprendemos es por nuestras hijas, por nuestros hijos y nietos, que son nuestra manta infinita, la manta infinita que ya empezó. Hey, mi gente, George Ampertone from iHeart Manta Studios, coming to you today with sad news. Yesterday, July 23rd, 2023, at around 1 p.m., during a routine visit to one of the uh, many neighborhoods of Manta, our beloved Mayor Agustin Intriago was shot multiple times by a gunman and died after emergency teams were unable to revive him. Agustin's assassination has shocked and saddened the community of Manta, of Ecuador, of Manabí. News of his assassination has spread around the world. And we have noticed an outrage and a panic throughout the media. In addition to his life being cut short at only 38 years old, and with such a bright political future ahead of him, people, many people, including myself, envisioned that he was one day going to be president of this amazing, beautiful country. He leaves behind his wife, Rosita Saldarriaga, his two young children, Alma and Agustin Jr., who was just born earlier this year. But not only uh, have we lost a great mayor, a good man, a young woman by the name of Ariana Chanke was standing next to him and was also struck down by the gunman who escaped on foot while the driver of the stolen vehicle, which was used in an attempted getaway, was injured by police and apprehended. He is now in custody. <clears throat> Theories are abound as to who is responsible for this evil and cowardly attack to take the life of a man who worked tirelessly day in and day out for the past five years on a singular mission to improve the lives and livelihood for the citizens of Manta only shows how much of a difference he and his administration were making, are making, and if we have anything to say about it, will continue to make. Today, we're here to talk about how, although tragedies such as the loss of a beloved leader can cause outrage, panic, despair, civil unrest, those are one half of the types of outcomes that can come from tragedy. As some of you know, and for those of you who don't, I am not from Manta. Um, Manta is my home. My daughter was born here. My wife, many of you know, Ambar, was born here. My life is here. But I'm from New York City, a little city that I'm sure many of you have heard of. I was born in 1980, and so I was not alive when the United States President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in broad daylight while sitting next to his wife, waving to his adoring public in a car. Kennedy was one of, if not the most beloved presidents in the history of the United States at that point and quite possibly until now. On September 11th, 2001, 
when I was 21 years old, two planes were flown into the World Trade Center in Manhattan, less than 20 miles from my house. Thousands of people died that day, and thousands more in the years to come from respiratory diseases caused by the inhalation of the debris by our rescuers and first responders on the days, weeks, and months following those attacks. Two things have happened in the United States since these two horrible tragedies. Two specific things, many things have happened, obviously. One, presidents no longer travel in open top cars with minimal security and the people of New York and around the country came together to support each other in rebuilding better, stronger, and safer than before. Here in Manta, the people have endured tragedy and emerged stronger from the earthquake of 2016. In 2019, the people of Manta elected a young mayor with a vision for change. Agustin Intriago understood the risk he took every day putting himself at the forefront of this change. As I see it, Agustin Intriago gave his life for this city. His vision for positive change was ambitious, but it was also attainable. Under his leadership, Manta has grown more in the past five years than in the previous 20 combined. And by committing this horrific and detestable act of cold-blooded and cowardly murder, which took the life of an innocent young female athlete, as well as our mayor, his enemies have single-handedly ensured that he and his mission will live forever. Augustine's death will not be in vain. That is our goal. That is our message. That is our new mission. He sacrificed all. And now it is our job to make sure his work continues. Un ratito. I didn't expect uh, for that to happen. School <laughs> bit. No. Power is a dangerous thing. And only two types of people really actively seek out power. There are the types of people who simply want power to be powerful for the sake of being powerful. But then there are the types of people who seek power as a means to an end. They know they need power in order to affect change in the world, in their community, in their lives, in the lives of their children, of their children's children. There are people who seek power to be powerful. There are people who seek power to affect change. I believe Agustin Intriago was the latter. He was not a power-hungry, greedy politician who worked only for his own interests and the interest of his donors. Agustin worked for the city, for the people. He saw that Manta is on the crest of a wave of growth and prosperity that perhaps Ecuador has not seen before. I've said this before, I'll say it again, Manta City is in many ways the way um, places like Cancun, Dominican Republic, uh, Aruba, Costa Rica were in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Manta is that now. It is a haven for investors, for retirees from around the world to emigrate to and build lives in. Um, Agustin saw that. Agustin saw that the, the industry, the fish industry in Manta was not and is not going to last forever. And so the tourism and 
development, real estate uh, industries of Manta needed to be propped up. Environmentally, Manta needed to be protected to protect the land, to protect the flora and fauna, to protect the people, the working people. He knew infrastructure, infrastructural changes needed to be made and he worked his butt off to make sure that his promises were kept. It's very rare in our lives that we actually elect a politician into power. There are many politicians and candidates who run, who we believe will affect change, who we believe will honor their, their campaign promises, but very few of those ever get elected. And when they do, many times, more often than not, they are unable to deliver on those promises. Agustin delivered. He saw that Manta is a city of beauty and wonder, an amazing opportunity. And he saw that it needed proper guidance along this journey toward becoming the fastest growing city in all of Ecuador. It is an international tourism hub, is a land of biodiversity and clean living, it is a connecting city to all the most amazing and wonderful aspects that Ecuador, the country of four worlds, has to offer. So what do we do? Do we hide in our homes and make believe nothing's happening? Do we stay quiet and still as to not make waves in hopes that it'll all just go away? Do we panic and flee to the next place that we think is safer? Or do we come together in honor of Agustin, in honor of his family, in honor of our own families and our community, to ensure that his death is not the end of his mission, but the beginning of a new wave of community leaders coming together, both in the public and private sector. I propose it's the last item on that list that we do. I propose that panic and civil unrest and, and fearful mass exodus from Manta is the wrong idea. If we do that, if the good people of Manta leave, who do you think is going to come and take our place? No. We stay. We communicate. We remember Agustin's message. And we work to make sure it does not die. It continues forever. I'm going to end with a quote from Agustin. A few months ago, he, his, his organization, 100 Manta Alcaldia, last year was the 100th year of Manta since its canonization. Um, and today, today, they launched Plan 2035, 2035, Manta Infinita, Manta Forever. I'm going to end with a quote from Agustin. This is the era of citizenship in which the future is defined now. Rest in peace, Agustin.